Good morning. Welcome to Winnipeg. Now, there is no rollback. Hey. <laughs> My phone says hey. But you know, when I poke on it to see what it says hey, hey about, it, it gives me something that I, I couldn't care less about. It, uh, I, how do we turn that off? <laughs> anyway, I, I should have left it in the back room. Anyway, no rollback. Uh, yeah, the I guess the uh, uh, bike ride would be the rollback. <laughs> yeah, the heated gloves test or whatever. It, wasn't that kind of funny, those of you that watched that, that they, they went from high down to medium all by themselves? Both of them. Uh, it could be that you're supposed to keep resetting it after so many seconds or something. I don't remember reading that in the instructions. Um, speaking of instructions, there was no instructions that came with the fenders. And, and this is them. This is, this is supposed to be the rear fender. Okay? And I can see where this would be good on a bike that had absolutely nothing. You just put this the seat post on, on here, you know, and uh, you can adjust it. It would be better than nothing. But they didn't work out the way I thought they would. I thought that I would be able to put them up backwards, up the up the up my existing fender, having about this much of it sticking out the back. But it, it just, the, the contours were just all wrong. Uh, I don't know if Amazon will take these back or not. Uh, they weren't that, they weren't that expensive anyway. And and this this is somehow you fasten this if you need the front fender. And I was going to do the same on the front. I was going to I was going to shove it up into the existing fender and sort of screw it in and just have this part sticking out. But it's it's too narrow for those wide fat fat tires. So uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, as you're going to see. Or as you saw, those of you that watched the, the uh, episode yesterday about the bike ride, uh, I came up with a real, real simple, crude, uh, uh, I solved the problem. Uh, <laughs> problem solver. Anyway, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go in the back room there later and just see how, how good, uh, you know, it actually worked. Uh, I know that when I came home, I immediately took off my, you know, I came in the house and I immediately took off my, well, almost immediately, my jacket and I looked at the back because I was curious. There was nothing on it, not not one single little thing up the back, whereas before I had to, I had to wipe it down. Uh, anyway, uh, <clears throat> what are we going to do here today? We're going to carry on from where we were yesterday. We're going to be getting our little parts. Uh, I think that, uh, what, oh, I put this right here so I'd re be reminded. Got a, got a message from Amazon last night. The, uh, lighter gauge wire, it's been delayed. It be, be here maybe in two days now. Uh, the, the same thing happened with this. Exact, exact same thing. Same sort of message and everything. So, uh, you know, it did eventually show up, but not when they say it does. You know, this guaranteed two days or one day or guaranteed next day or whatever. Maybe they don't say guaranteed anymore. Uh, I mean, what, what does the guarantee mean? Uh, I know when I was in the, yeah, working at the bus depot in the express office, we had what was known as the next bus out guarantee. And you pay an extra $15, which, you know, 20, 25 years ago, that was a lot of money. But you pay an extra $15, you get what's known as the next next bus out guarantee. Well, what what is the guarantee? You, you you don't tell people that all it means is if it doesn't go, we'll give you we'll give you the the money back. It doesn't guarantee it's going to go. It just guarantees it will give you the money back. You know, it's sort of a <laughs> yeah. I'm almost ashamed that we did that. Now that I think about it. And, and I used to sell a lot of those. Now, mind you, it was going to, it usually went on the first bus anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, big business is, uh, uh, there's a reason why this Jeff guy has got this huge yacht. <laughs> you know, all you can do is laugh because you really can't, do anything about it unless you get violent and I'm not a violent person so <laughs> okay uh, mind you 
it, it's kind of interesting when these very very wealthy people have these big beautiful yachts you know I think I think it's something like 300 or more feet long I forget now <laughs> You know, it's really nice to be able to take a walking tour through those things and you think, yeah, wouldn't that be wonderful? Uh, you know, uh, I've got all I can handle here at the model table. Looking after a 300-foot yacht? <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> okay, uh, how did we get on to that? Uh, let's get on with it here. Uh, no, let's let's go in the back and, and take a look at the uh, piece of plywood I stuck over the back wheel. Okay, here we are in the Yamato room. And if you will recall, I set up this extra, you might call it workbench. Now, it doesn't have a green cloth on it yet, but the plan was I, I was going to put a green cloth on it. And, uh, yeah, this is where I keep the e-bike. Um, probably going to move the motor scooter in here too one day. Uh, probably in the very near future. I imagine once the... Uh, Honda Rebel comes, I'll be moving the scooter back here. Anyway, let's uh, move in and take, take a nice close look here. Now this uh, bungee cord here is just holding the board down. And these used to be on the inside of the uh, gauntlet part of my heated gloves. Took that out as well as the strap. Okay, so let's try and get this off of here now. I'll turn it over and we'll just see how much okay all of this all of this would have been up my back um, <laughs> my poor clean bike yeah I, I think what I'm going to do though is I'm going to uh, I'm going to modify this a little bit here and uh, yeah, so this will be on like this, uh, or something like this. Mm -hmm. And instead of having it going straight out the back, I think I'll have it... Well, of course, then if I curve it down, then the, the brake light doesn't show. But is that really that important? Uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, yeah, then I can get my leg over it easier. Uh, or maybe I'll just leave it the way it is. I, it, it, I did it just fine the other, this way, you know, why not just leave it? You know, if it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. We need K43 and K38. Now, it looks like there, there, are two thir there are two 43s. And at first I thought these two were both the same, but I can see that this, the 38 is different from the 39. So we need the 38. Let's just get that out of the way right now. Sorry to be getting my fingers in your road here. Okay, and there's another one over here. Okay. Now the 43. Just two places. One and two. Okay. Positioning pins, which I guess fit in those holes. Okay, we got those. Next, what do we need over here? Okay, we need uh, we need stuff for the bathroom sink. Okay, K52 is just a little bitty guy, and I think this is supposed to represent the faucet. They probably only had cold and, and cold running water just one faucet. Now the other piece we need is the 34 which is on the other side of the sprue here. We should be able to find it. There we go. Okay, there's the 34. And this is obviously part of the plumbing. Okay, and our little faucet here, yeah, K18, and uh, I think it was uh, Jeff, Carolina Jeff, was saying that uh, 
this sink would probably be stainless steel, not porcelain as I said here. Okay. Let's see if we can turn it over and see what it looks like on the other side. Yeah, it kind of looks like a stainless steel sink. What's this now? Now moving over on step 18, we need K15 and K36. Okay, here's 15. And 36 is way over on the, the other side here. And can we get it all in the frame? Just barely. Okay. Ooh, gotta be careful when I'm cutting these, I'm buckling them. All right. We'll get the sprue off of that later. I can see where I'm supposed to cut right there. Yeah, I can see where I'm supposed to cut. Okay, let's move over some more. A larger piece here, K32. And I'm noticing that there are hinges on this, I was going to say door, but it's more of a hatch, isn't it? Oh, and there's some detail there. I guess that detail would have to be out, not in. K47 is a little handle for a door like the one we just nipped off, but the other one is on the on the L sprue. Okay, so tiny. So I'll grab hold of it. How am I gonna grab hold of it? I guess I should use tweezers. I'll just grab it right here on the edge of the sprue and we will put it in our little tuna fish tin. Okay, let's find that other door. It's on the L sprue. L4. Okay, and I guess this little dimple right here is where that handle that we nipped off earlier goes. All right. This is the Z sprue. And we've had one of these before. I remember thinking I don't want to fill in that grating when I'm painting. And uh, in other words, I was hoping the shrink wrapping was going to go along nicely. Now, uh, interestingly, this is the tab that says 24. And it, it's the 24 is written on the underside of that. All the other tabs, or most of the other tabs on this sprue, the, uh, the uh, numbers are on this side. Okay, so we'll just go like so. And... I'm just holding it down there so that it doesn't... Uh, Go pinging off into oblivion. There's more more grating there. Okay, yeah, the the number is uh, on the other side of this here. Should say 24 if we did this right. That is, yeah, there it is. 24. Okay, enough poking around. Now there's uh, supposed to be a little wheel on this sprue, but I, th I got a feeling that, it, that it's missing. Yeah, the, the, the 14, we need the 14, and both, both 14s are gone, so we're going to have to get another Z sprue. There are six Zed sprues, so I'm sure we'll have another one. 
Okay, there are two 14s left on this Z sprue. Looks like we got the 13 before and one of the 14s. I wonder, are these going to be painted green or red? We'll take, we'll take this one here that doesn't have the number on it. We'll, we'll know that it's, that it's supposed to be a 14 because there's nothing else like it. Okay, let's pick it up by this, I think. That should be safe and we'll put it in the tin. We now have all of the pieces for step 18. Some of them are so small you can hardly see them there. Uh, except for one, and that's the J1. However, we actually do have it. We uh, nipped it off earlier and we, uh, we've we also painted it. So yeah, this is, this is ready to go. We just have to paint this other stuff now that's gonna be stuck on there. A different shade of gray, obviously. Now, uh, got a got a comment from one of the viewers. So let me push this out of the way a little bit because we can sort of see the problem already without doing too much uh, reorganizing here. I can, I think it was either Mike or it was Debbie. I'm not sure which. Well, actually, I'm sure it was Mike. Uh, said that uh, I, I missed this little tank right here. So I think before we go any further here, we should uh, get our other part back, and this part, and uh, glue that on. Yeah, thanks for that reminder. I, I might have caught that later, but I might not have too. And it has to go right here somehow. I want to let gravity be our friend, so this is the plan. Get it straight up and down like this. This one here, we will bring it in like this. There we go. Every time I use this little block of wood for something, I th get this hankering for turning a pen or something. Because this piece of wood, I could really make an interesting uh, pen out of. Um, anyway, that's uh, maybe someday. Or maybe those days are gone, I don't know. Okay, so this has to go like this. I think we should be able to get it to stick in there. We'll just see how this is going to go here. We'll just have to, I might have to support this a little bit so it's not so so flimsy. Let's, uh, let's uh, recompose here. Okay, it has to go with the pointy end that way. And uh, I think we're going to, uh, what kind of glue here? Probably the extra thin. Let's just see if we can move in a little bit here. Now this may not want to stay there all by itself. I think it is probably supposed to have, I wonder, is it supposed to have these pins removed? The, these, these tanks were all the same, they all had pins. That, somehow that doesn't look right. This is supposed to go like... Yeah, isn't, isn't this... You know what? I wonder if I've... I wonder if there's another tank that I've missed here. 
let me just page back to that step because this this is not fitting this is actually the first time I'm trying it I think it's supposed to go something like this so there's, there's probably a smaller tank I just I just assumed it was this one right here but you know what happens when you assume right okay I, I paged back and yeah this this does go like this and then this is just supposed to sit on top of this very precariously but but what about these things that are hanging underneath there those two positioning pins I, I, I would think they are supposed to come off because there's, there's there's nothing that that fastens onto them okay that's that's sort of how it's supposed to go well, I'll, I'll leave them on, I guess. Although they look kind of funny just hanging there, don't they? Um, um, I, th I think... Yeah, I think I'll just leave them on. Okay. Which one should I use here? How, how am I going to get that to stay there? Because as soon as I let go of it, it's going to fall fall over. Unless I was to get something that would go. Let's see, another little piece of wood that would run from from the table back here up at an angle like this. Just let me push stop again. Okay, so. I can't see the bottom where these pins are, but I know they're right in line with that with that seam, and there's also a seam at the top. So if I got the seam on the top right overhead, or right straight up, then it should uh, I should have it. Now then, if I put this, well, this is the first time I'm actually trying it, but I think it should work. Something like that. Now, now don't go bumping the uh, helping hands here. If I could get this just a little bit more centered. Oops, sorry to get my fingers in the way here. I'm looking straight down on it now. Oh, the whole thing is to turn a little bit like this. I'm trying to get it perfectly straight, and then I'm going to use some extra thin. Now we probably we're going to have to we're going to have to repaint this. This whole thing has to go back this way a little bit. Try to get both ends in the right place at the same time. You know, I'm wondering if maybe I should prop this up on something like this. Yeah, that might work. Now let's not glue it the wrong way around after all of this. And we'll go back. Oops, I wasn't watching where the other end went. I guess when it was on the table, I didn't need to worry about it. Well, maybe that's not a good idea. Unless I was to get something bigger, something, you know, I'm going to push stop again. Sorry about this. You know, you can never have too many pieces of wood laying around under your model table. You never know when you're going to need it. Okay, that, that's about right, like that. Now I don't need to worry about the other end. Now, I know you can't see it, but, but this whole thing has to go about a millimeter this way. Otherwise it's not going to be straight. Oh, for heaven's sakes! I wonder if it would work better if I was to put a little bit of extra thin in right here and make make this sticky. There. Now that's going to actually dissolve the paint and go right through and 
going to make sprue goo there. No, no, this should be a little bit sticky. You know, why don't I do the same on, on this other part? I should maybe have the macro lens on, right? Okay, now it's going to sort of want to stay there, or stick there. Now, it's, it's wanting to fall over the other, the other way. I need three hands. I got it? Yeah. Now our, our little block of wood here, very carefully. Okay, just let me check the monitor. I think we got it. Yeah. Maybe we could come in now and yeah, we do, we got it. Let's put a little bit right here. And I'm not touching where I want to though. Right. Okay, I think I got it. We should try and do the same up here. I'm gonna come in from the other side and try not to Try not to knock it over. Oh, I bumped this, but it didn't seem to do any any damage. Okay, let, let's just leave that. And there's there's not a whole lot I can do here on this now until that until that dries, and then that is going to be very breakable. Anyway, thanks, Mike. Uh, you know what? I'm going to call her quits here. Uh, what do we got here? It's a, it's a quarter to one already. Thanks for watching everybody, and all being well, we're going to see you tomorrow.